गाइज माई नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद अर्लियर वन वी लर्न अबाउट सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्म वैलिडेशन एनोटेशन विच आर सपोर्टेड बाई स्प्रिंग एम यू सी लाइक पैटर्न साइज मिन मैक्स पास फ्यूचर एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस अल्ट्रा सिंपल डैम एप्लीकेशन विच आई क्रिएटेड step by step along with you in all the previous tutorials now let's proceed further guys what if in this uh, application you have a very special and a unique requirement what you want is whatever value user would provide here in the student hobby field that value must be a valid hobby what i mean by this is if the user provides a value in the student hobby field which would match with any one of these values which you are seeing on the screen and summons a form then it's all okay but if he provides a value in the student hobby field which is not present in this list of values and summons a form at that time the application should return back the same admission form back to the user along with a complete description of the validation error message on top of the web page saying hey user please provide a valid hobby in the student hobby field and resubmit the form so question is how we would do it guys the problem here is there is no built in form validation annotation available in the framework which would help us satisfy this unique project requirement so what we do at this moment spring mbc says hey developers i provide a list of form validation annotations to you like size min max past future etc etc but for any specific project requirement if you do not find any of these useful you simply go and create your own custom form validation annotation and use it in the project in the similar ways as you use any of the built in form validation annotations as i showed you in the previous tutorial isn't a great feature of spring mvc so what i'll do i'll create my own custom form validation annotation with the name is valid hobby in this application by following these simple steps as suggested by the spring mvc framework in order to create a custom form validation annotation i would first need to include a java file in the project which would contain some basic information about it like what's the name i want to give to this custom annotation what would be the default error message to show to the user in case it invalidates the user input along with some more basic information about it and then i would need to include one more java class in the project which would contain the actual validation logic used by this custom annotation for validating the user input guys after performing these two steps in the project i will have a custom annotation ready with me which i would simply use in the similar ways as we use any of the built in form validation annotations i'll do one thing i'll quickly include these two files in the project in order to create is valid hobby custom annotation and later i would explain every single thing to you in detail cool so here i've included these two java files in the project which together would provide me with a custom annotation with the name is valid hobby now let's understand in detail what i have actually written in these two files here in this java file i have provided the complete definition of the custom form validation annotation whatever name we would provide here to the file that would become the name of the custom form validation annotation and here this is the default error message to be shown to the user on the response web page in case this annotation invalidates the user input and uh, with this statement i'm simply telling spring mvc framework he spring mvc framework for this annotation you use this validate class to validate the user input and uh, here is a complete logic which it would use to validate the user input it's simply saying if the user input matches with any of these values then it's a valid input otherwise it's an invalid input 
So with these two classes in this project, I'm now ready to use is valid hobby annotation. So what I'll do in the student class on top of student hobby field, I would write is valid hobby annotation. So after putting this annotation on top of student hobby field, and the user would provide values in this form and uh, sum in the form, the request would reach to this request handler method. And here, this model attribute annotation would automatically bind all these form elements values with the corresponding properties of student object. And here, while performing this task, is valid hobby annotation would try to validate the user input for student hobby field that is for this value using this logic and if it finds the student hobby value matching with any of these values then it would consider it as a valid input for student hobby field otherwise it would treat it as a invalid input let me show you this working on the browser by submitting the form with music as a value for student hobby field. Cool. As expected, the application has happily accepted this value. Why? Because music is present in this list of values. Now let's check what would happen if I provide a value in the student hobby field, say AAA, which is not present in this list of values for student hobby. Cool. The application has rejected this value and it's saying please provide a valid hobby value with this error message in the next tutorial i'll talk something advanced related to the concept of custom form validation annotation guys a big thank you for learning spring mvc framework with me if you have any feedback or comments please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email id for all of your queries please hit the like button if you really like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel con2series and i'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial